What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, Bring you our 2015 NFL Draft Special. We're going inside the war room with the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible selections to help fill those needs. But first, let's start off by taking a look at the upcoming picks the Chiefs have in this year's draft. First, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. Number one, these picks are based off what I would do as a GM of the football team and what I believe the team needs are. And second, these rankings are my own personal rankings, which you can find on our website at footballgameplan.com slash NFL draft. And this is not indicative of where I think these guys will actually go in April's draft. First, let's take a look at some of the team needs for the Kansas City Chiefs. I look at inside linebacker, maybe finding a starter and also depth behind what they have already on the roster, especially Derek Johnson, who's getting up there in age. Free safety is also a place where I think they can use some quality depth as well. Wide receiver, always a place where they can add some talent. And also you look at the offensive line. In the first round, I'll go inside linebacker with Stephon Anthony, who had a fabulous career at Clemson, also had a very good week of practice at the Senior Bowl. I think he would be a perfect fit to go alongside of Derek Johnson, eventually taking over once he decides to hang him up. In the second round, I went with Owa Odigazua, the edge rusher out of UCLA. I think he plays better with his hand off the ground and also reminds me a lot of Brian Aratpo and what he can do versus the run and also getting after the quarterback. In round three, I went with Nick O'Leary out of Florida State, who's my number one rated tight end and H-back prospect in this draft class. I think he would make an excellent compliment to Travis Kels, giving the Chiefs a very good one-two combo at tight end. Rashad Green is as dependable as they come coming out of college at 6 feet 180. I think he would do an excellent job in the short to intermediate passing game for Kansas City. I know they already announced that Eric Cush will be the starter at center, but at this juncture in this mock draft, Reese Dismukes out of Auburn is still on the board, so it makes a lot of sense for Kansas City to take one of the top centers in college football last season. I like the ball skills of Deron Smith coming out of Fresno State, 5'10", 200 pounds. He's a guy that I think will be better suited playing in the hole and also does a great job in run support. I have the Chiefs adding another big-bodied wide receiver and Kenny Cook out of Gardner-Webb. If you're not familiar with this guy, get familiar with him. He plays a lot like Marcus Colston of the New Orleans Saints. There's a lot to like about Jamon Brown out of Louisville at 6'4", 333. I think he can play either tackle spot, but again, provides quality depth up front for Kansas City. DJ Lynch out of Bowling Green at 6 feet 250 plays the run extremely well, and I love what he brings to the table from a pass rushing perspective coming at the inside linebacker spot. Continuing to add depth along the defensive line, I look at nose tackle Deion Simon out of Northwestern State at 6'4", 321. I think he would be an excellent complement to what they have in Don Terry Poe coming off the bench, providing that run-stopping ability on first and sometimes second downs. So let's recap my 2015 NFL mock draft for the Kansas City Chiefs. And as you can see, a lot of great talent coming from big-time programs, guys that were very productive in college that could provide quality depth as rookies for this Chiefs offense as well as defense. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Chief Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.